All right, well, we are at Black Rose Antiques and Collectibles of Chambersburg today. They do have multiple locations, but we are in Chambersburg, and we are picking up where we left off yesterday with part one. If you didn't see that video, there is a link for it down in the description. Um, but we are searching for things that we can flip for a profit, and we're having pretty good luck at it because the prices here are very reasonable, almost, dare I say, thrift store prices. But um, we're going to score some goodies today. I've got a feeling. So here we go. All right, well, the last time we were here... Oh, never mind, $70. Pottery Bear. You know what? I'm digging the bear. And it's redware, too. It's half off, so it only comes out to $8. I'm a little bit better than the corgi. I forget, I always forget, the corgi is dogs by... Bleh. Cats by the I can't remember her name. Something is yeah, bleh, bleh, bleh. I'll put it down below. <laughs> Sometimes I just can't think. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And it is half off, but I just can't. I just can't. Wait, what would that be at half off? No, yeah, you know, I'm not even thinking about it. I just can't do it. I'm leaving. Me and Fenton are always getting into trouble. We need to stay away from the Fenton. Um, teapots are the bane of my existence. <laughs> I'm just, I'm the worst at teapots. I think I say that every time we look at teapots. Teapots are more Andrew's thing. He's really good at teapots. But I actually, you know, I like this geisha teapot. I'm not gonna lie. Of course, like I said, I'm the worst at picking out teapots, so. I mean, it's got Asian characters on the bottom, but I feel like it's too much for us, but I feel like that is a good price. I think what I like about it is it's got the little geisha on the top. All right, let's see what else we've got. I remember the last time we were in this booth. It's the same, same booth owner. It looks a little rearranged, um, but we got a really nice piece of art glass out of here the last time. Or at least we looked at one. I don't know if we bought it, but. I like those fish plates. $12.99. I do like those fish plates. $7. I do like that. And it's 20% off. I like the lines on it. They're kind of deco. Does it merch? Japan? And actually, I think there's another one. We've actually got two of them. So there are two. And 20% uh, off of seven. I'm sure that works out to $1.40. I'll take both of them. So look, we've got stuff in our cart now. They're in good shape. They like this. They must be the day of horses. Well, the other thing I wanted to look at was this. Because it's got dragons. It's the dragon and lotus pattern. It is just marigold, which tends to be a little... You guys know I'm not a super fan of marigold. It's kind of like amber. It's like the amber of carnival glass. That makes sense. But it does have dragons on it, so that's a plus. And it's 20% off, but I just, I, I'm not, I can't do it. Here, I've got the barbed wire pattern, which I don't come across very often, and it's got its lid. But, I can't do the barbed wire. Last time I came across the barbed wire, it did not have a lid. So it was at Savers. I think they wanted $20 for it. Savers. They always have really, really high prices. <laughs> All right, let's look in here. Let's see what we've got. A little bit more Pyrex. I see a restaurant way under there. 
and wobbly there. Is there a plate under that? Oh, they're grill plates. That's why it's wobbly. They're grill plates. Never mind. Oh, hello. We actually had this exact same or one similar to this bowl. And I was so shocked uh, that it didn't sell better than I thought it would. But it didn't sell. It just, it did, I don't think I said that right. Um, it just, it didn't sell very well. I was shocked because it's so beautiful. Um, but I just, I can't do it again. It was one of those pay to learn experiences because I thought it would sell well because it's so pretty. We've got uh, the American Sweetheart pattern by Monax. <laughs> Oh, I see you up there. I'm gonna get you done. I'm in the Fenton identification group on Facebook, and uh, they just posted some of the catalog photos, the original Fenton catalog photos for this. And I forget what the name of this color was when it first came out. How much are you? I guess it was in the 1960s that they started producing the Mirhana Vasa. $59.95. Yeah, unfortunately, even at 20% off. I think that's too much for us. It's got it's got the original sticker though. Am I trying to convince myself of this? I think I am. I can't. I can't do it. It's not happening. Alright. I've got to turn up the camera so I can put this back on the shelf. Alright. Well, Right, Made in Germany, 19 or 19, 9.95. Just says Made in Germany. It's red wire. What would he be? Would he be for toothpicks? I think I'm gonna buy him. I love the glaze on there. I'm just not sure about that top hole in it. Um, so this booth here um, is another one that Connor shares uh, with Dave and Steve. So we're going to jump in and see what we can find. Because they always seem to have very reasonable prices. Wisconsin pottery. I feel like we looked at that before, but hey, look, here's a duck. Maybe we looked at the duck the last time. I'm not crazy. There actually is no price on the duck. I'm going to reach up. Let's see if it fell off up here. There's no price. Okay. The duck is not priced, unfortunately. I'm not crazy this time, there is no price on the duck, so unfortunately the duck stays. The duck stays. Alright, let's see what else we have though. Okay, so the other day when we were at Finders Keepers, we spotted a picture that was marked West Coast. And it had this exact same glaze. Obviously, this is a bird for the same place. And it's this by the same pottery. Um, and then the duck for $1.95. A dollar ninety-five and twenty percent off. No, oh, it's ceramic. Never mind. Holy smokes! I thought it was wood. I don't want a ceramic duck. <laughs> oh boy. I think. I think I'm gonna put this in my cart. I am gonna actually grab this one here. Red wear piece. Green glaze it is red wear. I feel like this is this matches a piece that Andrew got recently. And I haven't listed yet. But I I don't know. Maybe I'm I also feel like it's the bottom of a planter. I was 
considering it. Gold, so we're going to pass on that. <laughs> it's dragons again. This one's $48. So maybe that last one was actually a good deal. Here's a little piggy bank. Yeah. Fortunately, there's only one way to get the coins out of that one. This is still here. I'm tempted. 12.50, 20% off. Maybe today's the day that we just take it with us. Okay. All right, I'll take it with me this time. Let's just do it this time. <laughs> Was here the last time I was here. Oh, look at the dragon. Oh, a dragon wear vase for five bucks? A lot of the times the application will be chipped, and you can see here there is a little bit of chip on the dragon, but for the most part, it's so good. In the cart for five bucks and twenty percent off. And we also have the windmill pattern, right? Yeah, there's windmills on there. That's the windmill pattern. Got the question mark pattern. Some more. Those look like more talky. Yes, those are more talky. You can usually tell by the way the flowers are on these dishes. There's just a quality about the Noritake versus what you have over here, which is, yeah, RS Tillowitz. Um, so you can kind of tell the difference between something that's Japan and European. Ta-da! There you have it side by side. Here we've got a Nippon Nappy. A little nappy dish. I like the way they did the gold on there and the green kind of look like little gemstones. I don't need a nappy dish. Do I want a nappy dish? Yes. Do I need one? No. I'm going to pass on it. So down here we have Noritake and then we have a European piece right next to it. Maybe my little lesson. Now you can tell. See? Look. There you go. Right here. Here. More jewelry. I just bought a ton of jewelry. I don't need any more jewelry. Green. So this is the exact same picture they had at Finders Keepers the other day that I passed on. Um, not 18. Oh, hello, bird. $25. It's Wedgwood. It's actually quite nice. What is this down here? Oh, it's a modern piece. It's got a fish on it. <laughs> you guys didn't know, we do have a goldfish. I forget what the kids named it though. Got a butterfly plate back there. I made a butterfly wings.
I usually get like 25 to 35 dollars for these tool leather bags. They've got theirs marked for 25. It is 20% off, but there's just not enough room there for me to make a profit, so I'm gonna pass on that. It's still a good price for it. I can tell you those more than likely will glow. I think I said the exact same thing the last time I was here. Is that flocked? It is a flocked critter. I wonder if it's West Germany. Somebody glued him to a mousetrap. I almost wonder if he's West Germany. Then it'd be worth money to take off of the trap. Early pottery. Yes, hello. That is early. It's a really nice piece. Twenty-five dollars. I can't do it at twenty-five. Okay. Those horses, I need those horses, and the pair of them are twelve fifty. So we need to get a key for this. But in the meantime, let's see if there's anything else we want. I think mostly we just want the little horses. <laughs> Oh wow, look at that set down there. That's amazing. Look at that. Um, nine cups and two decanters. Where are the cups? I don't see cups. Was, oh, oh my gosh. They're hanging from it. Look. I'm just, I couldn't see them. That's amazing. That's a really nice set. I love that. Alright, well, let's get in this case and let's get those little horses. Alright, so I'm going to tease all of you with Fiesta Bear and Longa Burger baskets. But those are the baskets that I just spotted and I'm going to go in and look at those. Homemade <laughs> basket made by Level Craftsman. I mean, I actually don't know. They look a little too rough to be Charleston baskets, so I am going to pass on those. Mm, those are some old ginger jars. Well, I must say I was drawn in by this guy. An interesting man. Probably a nursery lamp, I would assume. But then I noticed these. Which are modern. I can tell by the weight. These are modern. We've got George Washington down here. Andrew would have been all over for that if he was here. That actually looks familiar. Blue floral vase. I actually bought one of those not too long ago and resold it. That's crazy. I had never seen one before, and now I've seen two. Now it's become common. <laughs> before it was, oh, I've never seen one of those before. percent discount in this booth. They want $5.99 for it. I like the shape and the glaze of this. It's just a small little butt face, but I think I'm going to do it for the 30% off of $5.99. Space put on there. Let's see what else we got. not have bison on it so we're gonna pass. I've also got a little dish to go with it. The whole set is here as a matter of fact. I feel like they should be all grouped together though. And I'm gonna actually do it for them. Because 
some reason I want the whole set. Ta da! There we go. Now I feel better. <laughs> From loving nephew Jack. Okay, you guys know that, well, if you've been on the channel for a while, I actually bought a, probably it was a high school project. It was a, it was a camera. And I actually bought a high school um, art pottery camera <laughs> at the couple before. And I think I'm gonna buy another one. Now I have two in my collection. And this one is from uh, loving nephew Jack for 6.30. That's awesome. The other one actually has a flash that's stuffed full of, of uh, foil. This one does not have a flash. It's not as fancy, but it'll do. Okay, we've got this little guy here. I love the glaze on it. Yeah, there's a mark there, but I cannot make it out. It's like 87. 295, 20% off. It's kind of like a little uh, lotus or melon style vase. And I think I'll take it. Alright, so, there we go. Okay, so we're back here in one of my favorite booths. It's the mid-century booth. That I just absolutely adore. This stuff is... I, it, I can't buy anything for resale. It's just not an option. But I do love to come in here and just stand and admire everything. However, today is the day. I just spotted this little handful of trinket boxes. Uh, miniature boxes, a lot of six. And it sounds... I haven't opened any of them. It sounds like they've got the little extras that usually come inside them. They usually come with like a little something, a little surprise on the inside. Um, so, I think I'm gonna buy them. I'm gonna buy a lot of six for $10. That's a pretty good price. Um, and I'll open up one of them and show you guys what's inside. All right, so for instance, this is the little telephone booth, and inside we've got the telephone book. So uh, it's actually pretty rare to find them with the little thing inside. They are made in China, but I've actually done pretty well with these. Um, people collect them, and there's usually sets of them. I sold the whole garden set. I'm not sure which set this would be, though. Obviously, something to do with... I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab them, and I'm going to find out. Now you guys know I'm really bad with math, but the tag says set six and I count seven. So I'm gonna have to figure that one out when I get up to the checkout. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's definitely seven. So hopefully there isn't an issue. All right, so in addition to having booths for rent here at Black Rose of Chambersburg, they also have shelving units and so um, people just rent these shopping units and they could put their stuff here and sell it which is great I think because if you're not really committed to a booth you can have a shelf so they had some pretty cool stuff here on this shelf the last time we came through so I just wanted to do a quick circle around here to see if there's anything new Ooh, what is this oh it's a little little happy bunny. <laughs> Pretty cute. Alright, well, I feel like all sweaty all over my face because I just took my mask off, but <laughs> I feel like we did pretty good here. I felt like I was being really selective, but when it came to the checkout, my total spend was $360. That's a lot of money. Uh, but I'm feeling pretty confident about the jewelry. We got quite a few nice sterling silver rings with turquoise in them. And I feel like the prices we paid, you know, $15 to $20 per ring uh, with turquoise, I mean, the $15 to $20, that's what I always expect to pay for a silver ring. And then I feel like the turquoise is going to add value to those. Granted, jewelry is not my forte. That's Casey's thing. I'm at least keeping one for myself. <laughs> anyway, um, on that note, I'm gonna go find some food. I'm starving and it's about an hour's drive home and I've got some listings to get done and um, I will see all of you tomorrow, later. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.